But if you make good decisions today, that you can start to improve your brain within two months. Meet Dr. Daniel Amen, one of the most recognized psychiatrists in the world. For more than three decades, he and his team have conducted over 225,000 brain spec scans on patients from more than 150 countries, building the largest database of its kind anywhere. These colorful images reveal how blood flows and energy moves through the brain, highlighting areas that are strong, underactive, or overstressed. From this massive treasure of data, Dr. Amen delivers a powerful message. Your brain can actually grow younger, sharper, and more resilient at any age. In this video, we'll uncover what spec scans really show us about the brain, why making your brain younger transforms your body and your life. And finally, Dr. Amen's food rules, what to avoid, and the five brain-boosting foods you won't want to miss. What have 225,000 brain scans revealed to Dr. Daniel Amen? And it is very clear to me that your brain is the organ of judgment, personality, character, and innovation. And when your brain works right, you work right. And when your brain is troubled, you are much more likely to have trouble in your life. So what you see on the screen are two brain SPECT scans. SPECT is the study that we do in our clinic. It's a very sophisticated brain imaging study that looks at blood flow and activity patterns. It looks at how your brain works. And it basically shows us three things. Areas of the brain that work well, areas of the brain that are low in activity, and areas of the brain that are high in activity. So good activity, too little or too much, and then our job becomes balancing it. The image on your left is a healthy scan. It shows full, even, symmetrical activity. The color doesn't mean anything. It's the shape. The image on the right is an alcoholic scan. Alcohol is directly toxic to brain function. Here are examples of three 60-year-old brains, one with Alzheimer's disease, one that is overweight that has sleep apnea, which is a disaster for brain function, and a healthy scan. Which brain do you want? But if you make good decisions today, that you can start to improve your brain within two months. It's like, how exciting is that? At 52, I scan myself again, and it's much younger. My brain looks better with a healthy brain. It's very clear to me, you're happier, healthier, wealthier, you're wiser, you're more creative, more innovative. And even though your brain is only 2% of your body's weight, it uses 20 to 30% of the calories that you consume. So of the breakfast you had this morning or the lunch you had this afternoon, almost a third of it goes to feed 2% of your body's weight. Your brain is the most expensive real estate in your body. On average, you lose 85,000 brain cells a day. And what we've discovered at the Amen Clinics is you can accelerate the aging process with your behavior, or you can decelerate it. How exciting is that? Before we dive into the best foods for your brain, let's first look at what damages the brain. So what are the things that hurt your brain? Brain injury should be obvious. Drugs and alcohol should be obvious. A lot of people ask me why I don't drink. I really like my brain. Plus, I've seen thousands of scans of drinkers, and they're not healthy. I want to live a long time with my brain intact. I actually did a show called The Truth About Drinking that won an Emmy Award many years ago where we took a young kid who was drinking a lot, got him sober, and then got him drunk. And we scanned him drunk. And his frontal lobes went away. Why do you care? The front part of your brain, things like focus, forethought, judgment, impulse control, organization, planning, empathy, you want all those things. Our country has no clue yet, but is learning, is that obesity damages brain function. There are now 10 studies. We just published a study in the Nature Journal Obesity that says as your weight goes up, the actual physical size and function of your brain goes down. That should scare the fat off anyone. I read that study. The first one that came out about three years ago, I dropped 25 pounds. I was serious. When it comes to the brain, size matters. You do not want a smaller brain. 
Smoking constricts blood flow to the brain. Like it prematurely ages your skin, it prematurely ages the brain. High blood pressure. As your blood pressure goes up, the blood flow to your brain goes down. So you need to know your blood pressure on a regular basis, and if it's high, take it serious. Diabetes, standard American diet. The SAD diet, the standard American diet, is not only associated with heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. It's associated with depression, attentional problems, and Alzheimer's disease. Food is medicine or it is poison. Foods that make you depressed. I know you're not gonna wanna hear this. Sugar, fast foods, because they're fibrous foods. That's why they're fast. They get you in there and out fast. Processed foods, popcorn and corn related foods because often it's pro-inflammatory. So if it's grown on a plant, eat it. If it's made in a plant, don't eat it. It's hardly surprising that he was horrified by the food offered at his local church. Go to church, get donuts, sausage, bacon, hot dogs, ice cream. They have no idea. They're sending people to heaven early. <laughs> On coffee, what does Dr. Amen think about coffee? Anything that messes with sleep or blood flow to the brain, I'm not a fan. Brand new research, if you have six cups a day, that goes with big trouble. If you have one cup a day, it's probably not a big deal, but less clearly is better because caffeine is addictive. When people stop, they get withdrawal symptoms and headaches. There are just better things to do to give you better energy, especially making sleep a priority. Now, let's turn to the good news, the habits and foods that actually strengthen your brain. What are the things you can do to help your brain? Positive social connections. The people you spend time with determine your longevity. Isn't that interesting? If you spend time with people who have healthy health habits, you pick those up because people are contagious. If you spend time with people who do not have healthy habits, you die early. New learning, so TED is perfect for this. Whenever you learn something new, your brain makes a new connection. When you stop learning, your brain actually starts to disconnect itself. Sleep, again, it's absolutely essential because, you know, in 1900, we got on average nine hours of sleep at night. 2011, we get six hours of sleep at night. Less than seven hours of sleep, you get lower overall blood flow to the brain. Your brain cannot go through that kind of transition in such a short period of human history without there being very serious consequences. And as sleep goes down, weight goes up because your cravings get out of control. Meditation fooled us. What we thought, you know, meditate, zone out, brain calms down. Absolutely not like that at all. When people meditate, it activates the front part of their brain, which is the most human, thoughtful part of their brain. Now for the part you've been waiting for. Let's talk about food. Diet's absolutely essential. You are consuming the nutrients that are helping you. Often a higher protein, lower simple carbohydrate diet. Exercise can work. Magnesium has been shown to be helpful, as has theanine, ashwagandha, rhodiola, uh, L-tyrosine. What food is loaded with magnesium and even highlighted by Dr. Amen himself? Pumpkin seeds drip dopamine. Pumpkin seeds, they're small, but they pack a powerful punch. Rich in magnesium, they help calm the brain and lift your mood. They're also full of zinc, which sharpens memory and focus, and antioxidants that protect brain cells from damage. Add in healthy fats, and you've got one of the simplest, smartest snacks for a younger, stronger brain. For vegans, Dr. Amen emphasizes the importance of taking an omega-3 supplement. Omega-3 fatty acids, I just gave you a present of our vegan omega-3. All the vegan omega-3s, they don't have EPA in them. People who are vegan, it's really hard to get healthy EPA and DHA levels from flax seeds and avocados. Both of them are absolutely essential. They're essential, which means you got to get them from an outside source. Your body doesn't make them. Dr. Amen emphasizes the power of eating lean proteins, healthy fats, fibrous fruits and vegetables, while cutting back on simple carbohydrates. Mrs. Amen even shares one delicious recipe you can try at home. Chicken, avocado with sprouts in a thin wrap. 
looks really yummy, so next time you go grocery shopping, why not pick up something that nourishes your brain and keeps your brain younger? There's one drink Dr. Amen recommends, green tea. Green tea seems to have more benefits because green tea, yes, a little bit of caffeine, about half as much as coffee, but it also has theanine, which helps you relax and focus. I'm a huge fan of green tea for that reason.